This is the book, The Ministry of Healing, written by Ellen G. White. From the book's foreword come the following paragraphs. The world is sick, and wherever the children of men dwell, suffering abounds. On every hand there is a seeking for relief. It is not the Creator's purpose that mankind shall be weighed down with a burden of pain, that his activities shall be curtailed by illness, that his strength wane and his life be cut short by disease. But all too frequently the laws established by God to govern the life are flagrantly transgressed. Sin enters the heart, and man loses sight of his dependence upon God, the source of life and health. Then follow the penalties of transgression, pain, sickness, death. To understand the physical law governing the body and to bring the life practices into harmony with these laws is a duty of first importance. There is need for an understanding of the many factors contributing to true happiness, a cheerful home, obedience to the laws of life, proper relationship to one's fellow men. When sickness comes, it is essential that we employ the varied agencies which, in cooperation with nature's efforts, will build up the body and restore the health. There is also a larger and more vitally important question, that of our relationship to the Creator, who originally gave man his life who made every provision for his continued happiness, and who today is interested in his welfare. In this volume, the author, a woman of large experience in the practical affairs of life, and one particularly favored with rare insight and knowledge, has brought within the reach of every father and mother, every man and woman, lay and professional, a vast fund of information on life and its laws, on health and its requisites, on disease and its remedies, on the sickness of the soul and the healing balm of Gilead. The book is written in clear, simple, beautiful language, instructive to the learner, hopeful to the despondent, cheering to the sick, and restful to the weary. Through several decades, it has conveyed its helpful message to hundreds of thousands as it has been issued and reissued in many lands in a dozen of the world's leading languages. That this work, which presents a better way, revealing to us a simpler, sweeter life, full of joy and gladness, with room for that helpful service which it is more blessed to give than to receive, may fully accomplish its mission is our sincere hope.